How you guys doing out there? This is Repart Killer 666 coming to you from Rad Ride Heaven. Let me start off by saying my subscribers, thank you for everything, all the comments and everything you guys uh done in the few weeks that I have posted a video. I don't know how long ago it was, but thank you for everything, all the comments and all the well wishes and everything like that on my new adventure. Um, thank you for everything. Um, guys, I'm coming to you with a few of the cars that I have worked on. I wanted to show you guys before I go any further. Uh, always, always on my mind uh, to work on something, have to cut something up, have to do something. So when I get to do it, sometimes I don't detail and tell you guys this is what I'm going to work on. Because I'll be honest with you, this is not what I'm going to work on. I'm going to start it off and it goes in my head and I got to get it down on... on on styrene and once i get it down on styrene um i can go on and then do the next one and next one but i have worked on the three cars that i have picked from the last video that i show all the chassis that i've done and they're almost finished so that i have done and other cars that have just come and blown in my mind and i decided to say you know what i'm gonna chop it now i'm gonna do it now uh, i'm always working on something and try something new that's the only way i'm gonna learn more and more anyway you guys all know this car the 37 uh, Ford, uh, I chopped this thing. I'm going to mix this into two things. Rad Ride, Hot Rod. So we'll call it a Rat Hot. Uh, motor headers are going to stick up. I'm not sure if those are the ones I'm going to use. But it looks pretty good on there, so I'm going to do it. I did a crazy, outrageous uh, steering box piece for this car. Uh, I actually built, uh, put a, if you look at it, I'm going to try to focus on it. Um, I put it a rack and pinion. I connected the rack and pinion to the steering box. From the steering box, I used a watch part that has two holes on each end. That has to be cut and trimmed and clean. It's not. And then I put a out to where the steering is going to be and stuff like that. So I had to work with it back and forward. Now I'm worried about other stuff that I might have to put on it that I got to make sure everything fit. And then in the back, I cut it all up and lowered it and put some slicks on it so i'm gonna put this into both categories little hot rod a little rad ride uh the original suspension i kept and put in the back i will show that in another video once i remove the body and show the chassis and everything but looks kind of sweet wanted to do it for a while so i'm definitely going to mix these two together and come out with something crazy uh, my other car here these are cars that i have tons of them because when i get them I see them, I buy them, and I hold them. Uh, I might have four or five of these left and about three or four of those. And maybe more, I don't know. I don't. When I want one and it goes in my head, I do it. I actually chop the roof on these cars. That's how much I chop. I actually use this tape where they use for lines to do pinstripe. They use it to do, when they do a two-tone color, they get a clean line out of it. I use the tape all the way around and cut the roof. This one was cut in three pieces, the back the top and the front to line it up perfectly to where it belonged put a little bit of welding spot on it made it look like it was welded all the way around uh, once I rust it and do all the other touches to it it'll definitely look like the car was welded I'm cutting out where the doors are at because I don't want to make it look like it's locked out so I'm gonna actually try to cut and indicate all that other stuff and I chopped that one up uh, did the line over the top you can see the inside is not finished yet I still got to sand off a lot of the glue and, and get it smooth in there, even though no one is ever going to see it, but I'm going to do it. Everything else I did, uh, this is actually, if you look at all my videos, it's my first chop. That's my first chop. Then I took this one and chopped it into four pieces. Uh, had to, to get it to fit, again, perfectly, almost originally, where it goes from factory. Um, did a severe chop on this when I actually cut it. Then I retaped it and cut it again, uh, just to make sure it's lower. But I have an idea on the next one I'm going to take out of my box. I'm actually going to do two things with it that I was looking at and talking to somebody about it. I'm going to chop the top severe more, which I'm going to take the pier off this pole here completely, bring it down, the same thing with the front, all the way down, and bring it as low as possible I can on the next one. And then I'm going to channel the body by, you guys know in the old days, they used to take the bodies and actually... Let me just hold this way. Okay, let me put it over here. Sorry about this, guy. I actually take the body and take a piece off the whole body and bring the body down. Make the car look even lower and meaner. So next car of these I do, I'm going to do the chop on top. 
and I'm going to do the bottom chop. But the first one I'm going to do is going to be the bottom. I'm going to channel the body down, and then I'll cut off the top and channel that down. I mean, a chop top, not a channel. But I am going to do the body on the next one. Uh, it's going to take me a while because I'm learning as I go, but I'm definitely going to do one just like that. I'm going to really, really chop it up. Um, this is another thing that I was looking at and messing around with. Sorry, guys. These are cans, aluminum cans. Uh, I'm actually going to make a trunk out of this one and make the holes in it and stuff. It's a little delicate, but I'm going to work with it the best I can and see what I get with it. And I'll show you guys the same thing. What I want to do with this is start making seats out of it, bomber seats. I've been looking on the internet for a pair of bomber seats. I found a few of them. A uh, set of $24 ones. So if I get a car for 20 bucks, get a seat for $24, the paint job, the work, and everything, the car's worth over $100. This is a very expensive hobby that we get into. We don't realize it until we start counting all the parts, paint, time we spent on it. It's a pretty expensive hobby. So I'm going to try to start making... I mean, I made a couple of them before, but I'm going to actually try to make them out of aluminum. Start buying a little bit thicker aluminum and copper. Just a little thick. I found the sheets and everything. So I can actually play with it. Make a demo of one and use that demo to make a whole bunch of other ones every time I want to set. It'll be easier. So I'm working, playing around with these. Got a couple of cans, soda cans and stuff. I'm going to play around until I see what I get out of it. I'm going to bore you no more with this. Here's a van. I had this van for, woof. Over a year or two, I decided to take out, chop it up, cut it up, slam it down to the ground, glue the doors back on. I believe on one of my videos I had the doors open, but I'm just having fun with this. I'm going to build a rack for the top and, and put some parts on top of it. I'm just having fun. It was something that just hit me, and I said, you know what, let me chop it up, cut it up, slam it. All the suspension is on. The wheels are not glued on yet. I used the front suspension different, and the rear end I cut up and put into the body. You will see the chassis on this done before I paint it and do everything else on it. I'll definitely show you that. Uh, this is another truck that I just bought. I got this real cheap. I say I'm going to cut this up without no motor and just slam it to the floor. I mean, slam it to the point where it's actually not going to have no right height at all. Then I decided, ah, let's put the motor in it. Let's cut it up the right way. Let's do it the right way. So then I decided and changed the inside of it here and was able to put everything in. I got a lot more cutting to do, as you can see, and sanding down the radiator fit, the motor fit in place. I already cut into the body for the motor. So that's all going to fit in place. And the motor is going to go on, pop out the hood. I'm going to do a little popping out the hood carburetors. I'm going to get some wild carburetors for it and stuff like that. So I decided to go a different route with it, just not built it as a box stop. I mean, built it as a as a car with no motor, nothing like that. Just glue the hood shut. I decided to go a different way. Here's the suspension in the back. A lot of sanding has to be done, a lot of cleaning up. A bar has to be across put to hold the rear in place. And the bumpers are put on. I glued them in place and stuff like that. So a lot of little work has to be done. And then I made the top for the back that actually fits perfectly on there. And I'm going to put a gas tank in there and clean it up, make it look real nice. That way, when I take that off, it definitely, definitely is going to look awesome. I'm going to move away two or three things. Give me a second, and I'm going to apologize to you for this. It's just that I got a lot of stuff to show you guys, and I'll show you individually later on. Um, I've been working on two cars, like I told you. They're covered. They're cars that we're working on of the ones that I did all the chassis for them and put the chassis together. I'm going to give you a sweet look at it real quick. But I got more of this car to show you guys. Again, I keep the name Rad Rider Heaven real deeply to me. I believe in these cars. I love these cars. I built them for a reason. I call the shop Rad Rider Heaven because that's what I built. That's what I believe in. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick. If you haven't seen a crazy Rad Ride, take a look at this. and Let me know what you guys think it is. Here's my Rad Ride. There it is. That's Rad Ride right there. That's why I keep the name Rad Ride Heaven. It's sick crazy as i said it's not finished interior made of wood it's got a lot of crazy things going on so next time you see it it'll have more work on it more done to it here's the truck this is another one that i did that it came out sick the paint job it's nothing it's airbrush uh everything was done with uh, uh paints brush paint and and washes and I mean, it came out sick. Well, I'll be showing a separate video on this truck, and you guys will see it soon when it comes out. 
Um, again, this is the can I've been working with. But those cars came out awesome. You have to see the other one. It even looks crazier. I will make a video on them. And I'm going to enter myself in that con Well, not a contest. I'm sorry. Community bill for Rad Rise that you guys are having out there. I'm glad they did it. But I, myself, without offending no one or telling anyone what to do, I will build a real Rad Ride 100%. Meaning, I will get a body, parts from every single car that I have, spare parts, and put it together and call it a Rad Ride. Because that's what a Rad Ride really is. Again, not to offend or hurt anyone. I do not do that. I don't care what you build. Build what you want. But I hold the name Rad Ride Heaven for a reason. Because I love these cars and I know what they are. I found facts on them. I researched them before I started using that name. So I will be building a real true Rad Ride Heaven car. Meaning parts from every single pieces that I have. The car will not be built from a box stock. I will get a body, make the chassis, write down every single part, detail by detail, every single car that I took it out from. Year, make, and everything. So I will be building for the community built a true down-to-earth Rad Ride. That's why I take the name serious. Rad Ride Heaven. This is Repar Killer 666 coming to you from Rad Ride Heaven. All of you guys take care. My subscribers, thank you. And I love the builds that are going on out there. Take care.